What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode on Keeping It Real with Credit. And on this episode, since we're on the topic about saving money, improving your personal finance, improving your credit, real estate, or automotive decisions, what we're going to be here and do is talking about investing. And I'm here to show you guys an app that's going to be able to help you grow and invest your money wisely while making day-to-day -day purchases right now. What's up guys, welcome back. My name is Ray from Keeping It Real With Credit, your host, and today continuing on with the topic of apps. Apps that I recommend, that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, and I think that you guys will definitely benefit from. Now, this is not a paid sponsorship at all whatsoever, but this is just based on my recommendation, based on my use, and uh, how I've benefited from this app. Now, this app is gonna be Acorns, and if you guys don't know what Acorns is, Acorns is an app that goes ahead and invests your spare change for you on your behalf. You can start off by signing up for an Acorns account. And when you sign up for it, you're going to be able to choose a plan that's anywhere from $1 to $2 to $3. I myself, I'm using the $1 plan because based on that plan, $1 a month, however, because on that plan, it does everything that I needed to do for me. Now, uh, basically the way that the app works is that once you create an account, you're going to go ahead and create an account and Acorns is going to ask you a series of questions. Um, your name, your age, um, your lifestyle, uh, and what I mean by lifestyle is maybe um, income, what kind of income you're coming in, and what type of investment plan you want to go ahead after. Um, that can be from long term to short term, um, planning for a big purchase, so on and so forth. Based on those questions, this is going to go ahead and generate a ETF portfolio recommendation, anywhere from moderate all the way to aggressive. Now, um, within those, I personally, I'm going with the more aggressive route because I want to go ahead and grow my account as fast as possible. Now, there is a risk to this account, but being that it's only spare change, I'm okay with losing it all because, again, it is spare change. But uh, on the more aggressive route, I tend to take advantage more of the growth over time as my, as my money or my spare change is being diversified in this ETF portfolio. Now, um, there's a few ways to grow acorns. With acorns, you can grow with what is basically known for is the roundups. And the roundups is, again, it takes your spare change um, from everyday purchases and it invests it in the stock market for you or in your ETF portfolio that's divided up into stocks and bonds. And what I mean by that is, is like, say, for example, if you're going to go out to um, the corner store and get yourself a coffee, the coffee may cost a dollar and 50 cents. Well, then what Acorns does is that it rounds up that dollar and 50 cents to the next dollar. So that extra 50 cents that it took to round to the next dollar, it's going to go ahead and take that and diversify it in your ETF portfolio that you have selected for you. Um, and then within that, it's going to go ahead and do what's called micro investments to the companies that are in these stocks and the bonds and all that other good stuff that you'll be able to have a fractional ownership of. You're also able to do recurring investments. You can do daily investments, weekly investments, and even monthly investments, anywhere for as low as $5 a day, a week, or a month. I myself have it to $20 a week, um, in addition to my, um, my fee, my charges that I use on my debit card on, or credit card on a day-to-day -day basis to go ahead and round up to the next dollar and grow my account. Um, in addition to that, you're able to boost your account. And on these boost account, again, even though um, your charges are being rounded up on the card that you selected, you may be doing daily investments or weekly or monthly investments, you're able to do a one-time boost. Um, you're not really restricted to one time, but if you have an extra of $500 you wanna go ahead and throw at it, $200, $100, any really particular amount, you can get and throw it into an amount and really add to the diversification. Um, Acorns has a feature called found money. And I love this because you earn while you shop. Acorns is affiliated and has a partnership with a bunch of your favorite companies. And if you purchase with them, they're going to go ahead and add a percentage of your purchase. And again, throw it back into your ETF just for purchasing for them. I think that's a great advantage being that we buy from these things anyways. 
And so make sure to check in that part, in that section of Acorns to see how you can take advantage while purchasing and investing in your ETF portfolio. Um, in addition to that, a Acorns has a new feature called Acorns Later. And this has to do with saving for a retirement account, more specifically IRA investments. And in this section here, you're able to again, open up an account with Acorns um, that's specifically towards a long-term retirement investment. They're gonna go ahead and ask you a series of questions. And based on those questions, they're gonna go ahead and recommend an IRA for you. Once you do that, you go ahead and simply select and it's activated and um, again, as you start charging your cards that you've selected for this account, it's going to go ahead and diversify that for you and then throw it back into your investment account, growing it ultimately over time. Now, just to round things up, Acorns again is money invested. They're going to invest your money in a diversified portfolio, kind of divvied up between stocks and bonds. You're also um, investing again in ETFs and ETFs are exchange traded funds. And again, they're diversified into fractional share ownerships, being that we're only investing a little bit amount of money. Just because uh, one stock may cost $100 per stock doesn't mean that you're not able to own some sort of ownership or fractional ownership given to what this app is doing into that company. Now, one of my favorite features that I can't wait um, to start using is called Acorn Spend. And what they have is a new checking account with a debit, with a debit card that basically does all this stuff for you um, automatically. Um, so it's, it's a card right now, I believe as of this video, um, last time they sold out over 100,000 Acorns cards. And I'm currently right now on the waiting list waiting for mine right now. I had to do a cool signature, which in turn I was told was gonna be engraved in the back of the card based on what the card uh, looks like. It looks great, it's gonna feel great, and it's gonna feel even greater every time I use it on my day-to-day -day purchases, knowing that a little portion of that is gonna go ahead and grow my investments. So with that being said, guys, let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what you think about this app. If you've used Acorns before, let me know how you felt about it, either good or bad, or let us know how you was able to benefit from it or not benefit at all. I myself, I'm in love with this app and anything that can go ahead and make my life a little bit easier on a day-to-day -day basis, um, I'm definitely all up for it, especially if it's gonna go ahead and diversify and invest my money, my money for me. Now, um, if you have a specific app that you would like for me to review, make sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know um, if you wanna see a video with that. With that being said, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with family and friends, and until the next episode on Keeping It Real with Credit, peace.